believer that some things are better bought from the shops, you know, in the original form as it comes in the tin. One of those things is this. Some Nigerians call it peanuts, some call it peanut burger, some call it butter, granite, whatever you call it, it's this snack here. And it has been at the top of my request list for a long time. And since I am someone that never says no to such challenges, let's try and make this snack. At least I can tick it off my request list. Let's go! <laughs> Here are the ingredients you will need. The first one is roasted peanuts. Make sure that the two halves of each peanut are still together. In fact, they should be hugging each other very tight. So before measuring the roasted peanuts, I select only the ones that are still together. I do not use any peanut that has even the slightest movement between the two halves. You will see why later. You need rice flour, plain flour and corn flour, that's cornstarch, all in equal amounts. Icing sugar, that's powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. Egg, baking powder, dry ground cayenne pepper because I like mine spicy, that's optional. You need baking soda. Cinnamon, if you don't have cinnamon, use nutmeg, but cinnamon tastes better. There are so many flavors you can add to this, coconut flavor is another popular one. Salt, and last, vegetable oil for frying. Mix all the dry ingredients, plain flour Icing sugar Rice flour Pepper Corn flour Baking soda Cinnamon Salt And baking powder Sift with a sieve and set aside. Whisk the egg very well. Add some of the dry ingredients mixture to it and mix again till you get a creamy consistency. At most, I added one heaped tablespoon of the dry ingredients mixture. Place the roasted peanuts in another bowl, add a small quantity of the egg batter. And shake it, shake it, shake it baby, using a circular motion, till every single peanut is coated with the batter. Then add a bit of the dry ingredients mixture. Again, shake using the circular motion. This is why you need to use roasted peanuts or granuts that are still very much stuck together because the shaking can scatter it. <laughs> Keep adding the dry ingredients mixture till it's no longer liquidy. Yes, when you notice that it is very thirsty, you add more egg butter. At this point, some of the peanuts will be trying to stick together. Watch out for that and separate them as soon as you see that happening. I 
and once you separate any pour some dry ingredients on that particular wet area and continue shaking That's how smooth it should look when you are done. Next, pour some vegetable oil into a deep pan. You will know that it is hot enough when one coated peanut thrown into the hot oil comes to the surface like this. Add the first batch of coated peanuts. It's important that you do not overcrowd them. Also, stir gently so that you do not dent the coated peanuts. I fry the first batch for a maximum of 3 minutes, stirring all the time. The subsequent batches usually take less time, so keep an eye on it and once it browns, take it off. Put it in a sieve lined with a paper towel. When it has cooled down, store in a glass jar and close tight. Yum! Ooh. Can I get a thumbs up for that? Bye bye! See.